These are creepy TikToks that will make you rethink your whole reality. Philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau would hide in alleyways, pull his pants down, and jump scare women ass first in hopes they would get scared and spank him in self-defense. Apparently, this was his kink. A famous Irish pirate named Anne Bonny would fight with one boob out just to show that not only are you about to get murdered, but you're about to get murdered by an 18-year-old girl. During the French Revolution, where the guillotine was introduced, the people to be executed fought to be first, as the blade would dole after multiple uses, and wouldn't cut a head clean off at the first attempt. If you're male, after you die, your loved ones can have a doctor electrocute your prostate to force you to ejaculate for sperm. I'm back, it's your boy F-I-T-T-I-T-E, and today we're looking at this compilation together, so grab your water, your popcorn, your ice cream, whatever you want. Just remember to subscribe and like the video so it gets pushed to more people. If you like my chain, check my link down below. Things caught in elevators. More than an elevator failing, many people fear being trapped in one. People Me are afraid well. of this happening for meter seconds, but what about 41 hours? That's what happened uh, to Nicholas White, whose elevator got stuck in the middle of its trip. 41 hours, and there was nothing he could do to help himself. Quickly, he begins to run around erratically. At about 4 hours, the man lies down, waiting to see what happens next. We can see maintenance trying to get him in the other elevator shots. By 20 hours, they've made no real progress. The man begins messing with things from his pockets before opening the doors. At about 34 hours, he climbs, seemingly looking for another way out. Clearly not satisfied or otherwise unable, he continues his cycle of laying down, running around, pacing, prying the doors open, and so much more, wow, before the 41-hour mark, he's finally released from this unfortunate circumstance, and they block the elevator off from further use. Honestly, I'm happy he came out unscathed, nothing happened to him, but that's crazy. Imagine you're stuck in an elevator for 41 hours? That's almost two days. Dirty facts about history that school probably didn't teach you. Part 14. Like Philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau would hide in alleyways, pull his pants down, and jump scare women ass first in hopes they would get scared and spank <gasps> him in self-defense. Apparently, this was his kink. A famous Irish pirate named Anne Bonny would fight with one boob out just to show that not only are you about to get murdered, but you're about to get murdered by an 18-year-old girl. Savage as hell. This is my murder titty. York. The only slave on the Lewis and Clark expedition was a sensation among indigenous American women. They found the guy wow. quite attractive and he would tell them that he was part bear so they would sleep with him in hopes of producing a bear warrior baby. LBJ used to take out his PP and show people how big it was. He referred to it as Jumbo and here's a phone call of him complaining to a clothing company that their pants were too tight on his ladybird lance. Hang the crotch down where your nuts hang. It's always a little too tight. If you can't leave me about it, an inch from the, where the zipper ends, uh, round uh, under my back to my bunghole. Nah, some of those were crazy. The girl with her boobs, then the warrior bear baby, and then this man's big fat cop. Jameson family is unlike anything you have heard. So this family right here, the Jameson family with the two parents and their six-year-old daughter, for an unknown reason. They just packed their truck in 2009 and they had these plans to live in a storage unit, like on a plot of land. We would end up getting this, this security camera footage that was retained from their home, where they packed the truck and they did so completely silent, like they were in a trance or something. So the family does go missing after this day, but their truck is found abandoned and locked. It's really eerie because inside of this truck there was like 32 grand, all of their belongings, and their family dog was still in the truck alive. They end up finding the father's cell phone, and that's when they find something something really disturbing. It's a picture of his six-year-old daughter on the day they left, and she's just standing completely alone in the woods, just screaming, and nobody knows why Damn. he took this picture. Four years later, all three bodies were found three miles away in the woods, and no one knows what happened to them or why they left. That's kind of weird. Why would her dad do that? Shaking my head, bro. People are just so weird sometimes. Like, why would you... Why would... Disturbing facts that will ruin your life. When whales reach a certain age, they will eventually be too weak to swim back to the surface for air, so they will just suffocate to death and eventually sink to the bottom of the ocean. When you die, you will be aware that you are dead until the moment your brain fully ceases function. When getting laser eye surgery, you can smell the parts of your eyes being shaved down. During the French Revolution, where the guillotine was introduced, the people to be executed fought to be first, as the blade would dole after multiple uses, and wouldn't cut a head clean off at the first attempt. 
If you're male, after you die, your loved ones can have a doctor electrocute your prostate to force you to ejaculate for sperm. Humans have enough bite power to bite off their own finger, bone and all. The only thing stopping us is our brain's natural safety factor. A deceased human body can take between 24 to 48 hours to decompress, releasing the remaining blood, urine, and fecal matter, depending on the situation, position, and method of death. If you die on a submarine, they put your body in the fridge with all the food. If not, up a torpedo tube. It's actually mm. common that corpses will periodically burp, fart, gasp, groan as gases escape through the mouth and anus. When you get burned by electricity, it actually leaves marks shaped like lightning on your skin. Hit the plus sign if you want to learn more facts. That was like a machine gun, bro. It was just hitting me with facts. He was like, so after this one, and th I was like, what the? I'm like, bro, can electrocute my prostate and I could just nut? Like, what the hell? This is the scary story about the broken down car. There was a man named Alex who never got an Uber before. He didn't trust them and was honestly scared of strangers. But one day his car broke down and in a last resort, he called an Uber. When the Uber got there, it was an old elderly man. Alex then got in the car and said hello. The man then said, if you're thirsty, I have some water bottles back there. Alex was super thirsty and immediately drank the whole bottle. But seconds later, he passed out. When Alex woke up, he found himself in a small creepy room with both of his hands chained to the wall and his left leg cut off. Alex then began screaming hysterically and suddenly the old man came into the room and said, you better get used to this place, my friend because you're going to die here. First of all, one thing I gotta say about the actual guy that got kidnapped. Bro, if a man says he got water in the back, if it's a water bottle, you gotta listen for the, you gotta make sure that it's a fresh water bottle. You can't just go in a stranger's car and just expect, oh, he has a glass of water, let me just drink. You gotta be more cautious, bro. Scary things caught on camera. Bailey is a TikTok user who works in a so-called haunted theater. As the story goes, the owner of the theater apparently died 30 years ago in a tragic accident and still haunts his theater to this day. One night when Bailey is alone in his job, he finds something terrifying. Take a look. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. Follow if you saw anything. Oh, I don't know if anyone else saw that face in that corner. I was like... Look like JFK resurrected, come back from the dead to watch a movie. But yeah, that's what happens. If you go to any abandoned places or any places late at night where no one's there, gotta watch out. You never know what could be lurking in the corners. These are some of the most disturbing things ever found on the dark web, part one. And this video is gonna give you a clear example as to why not to send nude photos, ever. Today we're gonna be talking about the website called Pink Meth, and it doesn't involve drugs. Pink Meth was basically a marketplace and a website for men where they would go and sell their exes nude photos for revenge and for a large amount of money. And if you thought that was the worst part, keep watching. These men would post literally anything they knew about you, even stuff that you didn't even know they knew. And I'm not kidding, these guys literally had full list of your personal information, whether that be your phone number, your, your home social address, security. or even your family's private information. Oh. They would do anything to get dirt on your name. They don't care about how you're feeling, what it's going to do to your reputation, or anything like that. In fact, they all want one thing, money. The men would send the women's ransom nude photos to them and say, either you pay up the money or I'm gonna let the dark web do whatever they want with your private information. So this is why I urge you, don't do it. Hey man, I'll say if you're gonna do it, you gotta know the risk you're gonna take. Some of my screenshots, some of my save, you might get exposed 10 years from now. You just gotta know the risk you're gonna take. But in my opinion, bro, that is crazy. Like you gotta be a desperate person to steal someone's personal information and ask them for money so then it doesn't get exposed. Like suck a dick, bro. Like stop, like you're weird. November 3rd, 2018, Tamla Horsford, a 40-year-old mother of five, was having a slumber party with her group of friends who called themselves Football Moms. The following morning, police found Tamla dead in the backyard, covered in multiple mm. bruises. Police ruled the death as an accident, stating that she'd most likely fallen off the porch while intoxicated. 
However, Tamla's family was unsure, so they had a second autopsy done which showed that she had several cuts to her arms and legs as well. This finding, along with strange differences in the witness testimonies and a confusing log of the back door of the house opening and closing repeatedly, led the family to believe that their mother's death was not an accident, it was homicide. Because of the movement protesting the murder of George Floyd, the case was reopened, but still, it was ruled an accident. Yeah, I've seen and heard about that TikTok, but like, do you guys think that she fell off? Do you guys think that it was actually an intentional killing? Because if that's the case, then that's messed up because she was around a bunch of her friends, so it could have been one of them. This is the most dangerous movie ever made. This movie is called Roar, and the cast and crew of this movie endured monstrous dangers, both on camera and off. Malini Griffith was mauled near her eyes and needed plastic surgery. Mm. A man named Hendren contacted gangrene and needed skin grafts. Another person named Marshall was mauled by the lion repeatedly and had very bad blood poisoning. The cinematographer John DeBont had his scalp torn off and needed more than 120 scalp. stitches. Scalp! Over 100 people were Do injured you know or is? severely hurt during the making of this movie which is why it has the name of the most dangerous movie ever made. If you ever decide to watch this movie, most of the blood that you see on screen is actually 100% real. Bro, I don't even think people really understand how big lions and tigers are. Like, mind you, they're always laying like horizontally, like kind of flat, you know, walking on all fours. But if they actually stand up, they could be our height, which is like 5'9 plus, like taller. Like, these are big animals, bro. True crime. Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Lionel Dahmer. May 21st, 1960. November 28th, 1994. Also known as the Milwaukee Cannibal or the Milwaukee Monster. Mm. Jeffrey was an American serial killer and sex offender who committed the murder and dismemberment of 17 men and boys between mm -mm. 1978 and 1991. Many of his later murders involved necrophilia cannibalism, and the permanent preservation of body parts, typically all or part of the skeleton. Mm -hmm. Although he was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, schizotypal personality disorder, and a psychotic disorder, Dahmer was found to be legally sane at his trial. He was convicted of 15 of the 16 murders he had committed in Wisconsin and was sentenced to 15 terms of life, life imprisonment sentence. on February 17, 1992. Dahmer was later sentenced to a 16th term of life imprisonment for an additional homicide committed in Ohio in 1978. On November 28, 1994, Dahmer was beaten, beaten to, to death. death by Christopher Scarver, a fellow inmate at the Columbia Correctional Institution in Portage. Wisconsin. Seeing that video actually reminded me of the Jeffrey Dahmer movie that came out on Netflix in October and November. I remember watching it, it was really crazy on Netflix, but nah, Jeffrey was kind of weird. If you haven't seen it on Netflix, I would recommend go seeing it. Trust me, it's fire. Happy New Year. This is a true dark web story, part four. Paul, a 19 year old from Germany. Paul is a heavy weed smoker. He's done research on all types of drugs. He likes to experience new things. He tends to stay away from addictive drugs Could be a good and, and a bad uses thing. other ones for spiritual purposes. Mm. Paul is also always on one of the deep web chats almost every night. And he has anonymous friends that are regulars on that same chat. A new user joined this chat room for the first time. Some people greeted him, some were making fun of his username, and some were very sketched out. This anonymous user sent a Tor link without describing what the website is about. After he sent the link, he just left the chat room. Paul was the mm -hmm. only one curious about that link. He opens the link and it takes him to a website that introduces a new psychedelic drug that comes in forms of pills. As he reads more about this drug, he scrolls down and reads the offer. Your first order is on the house. We know you'll come back for more. He was mind blown that there was a free trial for this drug. He checks out his free Don't package, do it. puts a fake name and a fake address somewhere near his house in his city. Paul just didn't want to be traced. Four days later on a Saturday evening, someone knocks Paul's house door. He opens the door and sees only a box on the porch. There was a note on the box that says, Dear Paul, we wanted to offer the best service and deliver it to your home ourselves. At this point, Paul knew 
this was very serious. He started panicking after finding out they know his real name and they have his real address. He runs to his PC, finding that that link that was shared in that chat room that day by the anonymous user doesn't work anymore. Beneath the box, there was a local number and under it says WhatsApp to order more. Paul felt like this was a setup. He burned all the pills and he never opened any random links from any deep web chat room. Is it me or is it kind of just obvious that you shouldn't be opening random links from anyone? I mean, like it could be your homies, you know, your homie might send you a funny link, whatever. But like from a random that you met on a deep web, you're bugging, like you're asking to get set up. Watch Logan Paul freak out about this conspiracy. By UFOs? Yep. Just, yeah. I just want to mention this real yep. quick. There's another category of UFOs that we should be concerned about. Oh, Lord. U U USOs? Unidentified submerged objects. Stop. Wow. They're going underwater. Oh, come on. Wow. Come They're on. going underwater now. At precisely 11 p.m., the unidentified sphere seemingly vanished into the ocean. What was splashed? Splashed. splashed. The, like the flying not physics, a fish traveling traveling at hundreds of knots through the water like you bro underwater you shouldn't be able to do that mm -hmm. and apparently that's like a that's a whole nother category right you got the flying ones then you got the ones below sea and the one video that came out most recently is this video the navy had of this thing you know a little like spherical object I think it was about six feet in diameter flying through the sky approaching the waves and you can hear the the uh, naval officer saying oh my god Going against oh, he said unidentified submerged object. Yo, these mans are going through water, through air. Yo, if the aliens are here, man, hopefully they're they have our best interests at heart because that's some crazy technology, bro. But anyways, if you like this video, please like the video. Thank you for watching. Love you, man.